So for those of you that don't know, I'm a professional screen printer. Today at work, I learned from a coworker a new trick. So there's a print on this side. There's a print on this side. Ready? <laughs> but more important than the trick, I have to create a schedule. Maybe right there. Hide all that crap. <gasps> it's not nice out today. Like it was yesterday. It was like 60. Now it's like 20. Is it gonna work? Yes, Kimosabi. Get warmer and warmer and warmer. Ah, Jesus. So, you might be wondering what I'm talking about with this whole schedule thing. Well, I need to organize my life. In order to become successful and do the things that I want to do and get them done, I need to have a schedule. That thing right there. If you don't know by now, I bought a Yamaha XS650. The deed is done. I didn't vlog the journey to go get it. I have a million excuses and I hate myself for it. I wish I did. It was a good time. It was a five hour drive to and fro, but it's here now. It's in my house, in my garage. So I'm gonna go over what I've done with it already because I have been working on it for the last two days and I haven't been recording it. So I'm gonna catch you get you up to date with that and then we're gonna pull out the sump filter because I've already pulled out the oil I found little metal shavings in the engine and I'm going to be stripping down the whole entire engine and rebuilding it through and through and replace whatever's necessary so I'm gonna take along that whole entire journey which is gonna be a lot it's gonna take a long time and it's gonna be a lot of episodes so I'm gonna start a schedule I'm gonna go over that right now So the schedule is going to look something like this. Record Moto Rec Moto Edit. So the plan is every two days I'm going to make a video of me working on the bike, doing specific steps. Not professional by any means, but you're gonna see what it's like to be a noob doing his thing with a bike, going through the hard times and figuring it out and how I got it done. So I'm gonna record, work on the bike, two days, and then edit two videos, post those videos. So that way, it'll work out that I can edit my videos and still get the things done that I need to get done and be productive, unlike I am right now because I'm talking to the camera, but that's fine. I hate this lighting, I look like a freak. Holy crap. Anyways, I opened up the master's brake cylinder to the front caliper, and it was brown sludge, like the same thickness as toothpaste. It was horrible, it was wretched. Hey, hey. So I'm going to make a vlog of flushing that out as well, and rebuilding the caliper and all the seals. And I've removed a few things. I took the seat off, the battery, junk. The guy said it was a brand new battery. Why did I believe him? It's been sitting for five years. You know, oh, it's a brand new battery. Full of crap, he was, and I knew it. Pulled off the, uh, the clutch side of the case, popped that off, gasket's good, no leaks, no gear damage or anything like that, like I was worried from this broken dipstick. Show you that real quick. It, uh, it should have like measurements and stuff on it like you should be able to see like whether or not it's good it, like like gauges telling you okay it's full okay it's over full okay it's not full enough there's nothing it snapped 
So in the rebuilding process, I'm gonna make sure that's not in there. But today, when I pull the sump filter, hopefully I will. that will determine whether or not there's a big chunk of dipstick broken off inside from the dipstick that broke it. But I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro now because underneath the motorcycle, I doubt I will be able to get the angles that I need because this lens is just, and it's just not wide enough. Who's knocking? Manchester Police Department, my dad says. Got heat going on in here? Yes. Then I better put this out. It's not gas. No, I meant so I don't smoke you off. Oh, yeah. Chop dog's here. My boy. Then the old chop dog is here. Yeah. So the dipstick that I thought may have been broken off on this side is not in here and there's no damage done to any of the gears, which is good news. Um, so maybe that was broken outside and not in there. <coughs> and now I gotta pull off this oil filter. Next will be the sump filter. So I'm not very excited about what I've discovered in the oil filter itself. It's all broken plastic. I believe that these would be like the cam chain guides or something like that. So next, let's get into the sump filter and see what we find in there. If it's more metal, more plastic, maybe the end of the dipstick, I don't know. So this here on the front portion of the engine where the the front 27 millimeter drain plug for the oil is would be the sump filter behind it this is the other plug it's the front part of the engine mine's pretty crowded with gunk and dirt i don't think this thing has ever been removed and if it has been it's been a very long time so i'm sure i'm going to find all sorts of good stuff first i'm going to hit it with this wire brush, get all that dirt, as much as that crap out of there as I can so I get a good clean break on the seal and I don't have to worry about crap getting inside of the motor. Uh, I think that will do the trick for now. Looks like it's a 10 millimeter socket. So I'm going to, I did do a little bit more cleaning around a couple of these bolts because they uh, were unrecognizable. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, screws to be taken out with a 10 millimeter socket. So, apparently, you gotta give this thing a good few whacks with a mallet. I would not recommend a steel head hammer or anything metal. Use a mallet, block of wood, whatever you got. And give it a good few whacks. There's nothing but those six screws that hold it in place. So, now we're gonna remove it. What in the bloody hell, mate? Why? Stay focused! Focus on me! Focus on me! Hopefully, this doesn't dump more oil. There it goes. Of course. Why not? Why not just dump more oil? Why? Why me? How many times must I drain you? So I'm not crazy. There is a seal there to be broken. Ah, ha, ha, yes! Quick little pry with a screwdriver. All right, let's see what we got. I'm both very excited and scared to see what is inside of this thing. Yeah, I bought gloves for a reason. But I'm not wearing them. Um, screen is Torn to hell. I'm gonna just go ahead and assume right off the bat that it's not good. Definitely gonna have to replace this. They say fix it with JB Weld. I don't see myself fixing this gigantic hole with all these small holes and holes stacked on holes with JB Weld. So let's take a closer look. This is the bottom of the sump filter. This is what the, the magnet part of it 
looks like completely nasty the holes completely toast gotta I'm just gonna remove the filter those three screws there take that off order a new one um, I'm assuming there's supposed to be a gasket there might be a gasket Oh yeah, there's some gasket material right here. So I'm gonna have to scrape all that off of here and scrape it off of the bottom of the engine case. So that way I can make sure I get a proper seal when I put everything back together so I don't have an oil leak right at the sump filter. So thank you for watching this video. So thank you for watching this video. If you have found it helpful in any way, shape, or form, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like it and hopefully far far better so break your keyboard smashing that like button and comment away letting me know anything that you may want to see get done on the bike specifically in case I do skip over anything which I'm sure I will like whether it's the caliper rebuilding process the drum brake rebuilding process I just just let me know